In these hives, you have 50,000 bees, and they will collect four billions of samples per year, like natural drones, collecting pollen, collecting water, collecting nectar. No other tools can do that. And I can show you here, each color is a different kind of pollen. The bees are collecting the pollen to feed themselves, and the pollen contains the DNA of all the plants in this environment. Then we will analyze the pollen, and we will look for more than 500 pesticides, heavy metals, but also with the DNA analysis, we will identify each plant that we have here in our environment. It's just amazing what they can do. In one hive like this, you have just a super organism. It is 50,000 bees, and all of these bees need the others. For me, that's a real model for the human. Hops is really important because that's the only place uh, in Africa where we have the production of hops and uh, there are more than 1,000 people which are working here. We have a lot of alien species here, including here the pines, the black wattle, yeah. the acacia, And uh, it's a really huge problem here because I use between 40 and 60% more water than in natural area. Then we can say that it's a real issue. Unfortunately, the invasive plant species has a huge impact on the biodiversity and we have to remove it. These are my passion. I did my PhD on honeybee colony losses and we identify why the bees are dying and it's very complex. And when we are talking about the pollution, when we are talking about the biodiversity, we realize it's not only the bees, it's also the human, it's also for us. And if we are not doing something, 50% of all the species all around the world will have disappeared by 2050. <laughs> We have this chance to develop an innovation, a nature-based solution. My hope for the future is to have a real positive impact for the environment, but also for the next generation and for sure for the bees.